Hey YouTube, I'm making a quick video. Uh, I'm going to test out this 30AWG uh, bus wire as fuse wire for these 18650 cells that I'm building into a motorcycle battery pack. So I'm fusing the positive and negative of every cell just to make sure if there's a short in one of them it doesn't short out all the other cells that are in the same parallel with them. So it'll deactivate the shorted cell and uh, so I'm going to test it. I've actually doubled it up so it's more like 27 AWG fuse wire which I think has 10 second fuse capacity of 17 amps so we should see this fuse blow. I've got it just soldered onto the positive terminal and I've just got a 24 AWG wire soldered onto the negative terminal. I'm going to hook them together. Hopefully the fuse will blow and the thing won't explode. Let's find out. Oh, fuck. Touched it for a second. It got red hot in an instant. All right, let's see what happens when I uh, stick them together. Oh yeah, it just melts that fuse wire instantly. The second it touches, the fuse wire just poop, just falls apart, gets red hot in a second or less. And the cell's not hot, you know, that's a pretty good sign. I think this uh, should work for fuse wire for these things. So, if you want to do the same thing, you can get this 30AWG tinned copper wire, and I'm double stranding it. So it's double the diameter, double the uh, surface area of copper conductor, so it uh, should be the right amount of you know, resistance to get a low voltage drop across all the fuse wires in the pack. Uh, but it's still got the right amount of fuse capacity to protect the cell in case it shorts. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Secondary test, I thought it would be important to do a load test to make sure the fuse wire isn't going to blow or under a normal 5 amp load, which is what each cell will see you know, normally in the operation of the motorcycle. They may see a 10 amp peak, but they'll probably most of the time not see much more than 5 amps. So I put a 0.8 ohm resistor here. And so as we know, volts equals current times resistance, which is Ohm's law. So if I want to get 5 amps out of this battery at 4.07 volts, you know, you divide 4.07 by 5 amps, and that tells you the resistance you need to get that amount of amperage. So I've got a 0.8 ohm resistor, which is what you need to get 5 amps from 4 volts. And we're going to hook them together. The resistor, yeah, also, you know, Volt times amps is wattage, so 4 volts times 5 amps is 20 watts, and this is definitely not a 20 watt resistor, so it's going to start smoking, but, you know, for the purposes of this test, I don't really have an alternative, so, you know, we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. If it gets too hot, I'll disconnect it. But, anyways, here we go. Uh, load test on this 27 AWG fuse wire. Well, I think it melted the solder at the solder joint with the resistor, so I guess that's the end of that test. 